Hey guys, it's your girl, Confident Plans, back for another video. Hope you're having a great day. I'm here to do my last of the November uh, weekly check-in. I'm going to go ahead and do November 22nd through November 30th and just do the rest of the month. Um, this should be a pretty quick video. I already have my expense stickers already out. That'll help save some time um, rather than having to worry about getting them off every single time for you guys and you guys waiting. Just want to keep the video moving a little bit better for you all and hopefully that'll work out well. Um, hope y'all are having a great night. I am. Well, it's nighttime when I'm filming this, but hopefully you've had a great day. Whenever you're watching this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna turn you all a little bit so you're right there with me as I do this. There we go. And bring you in right here. All right, so for the 22nd, There we go, bring you up right here. So for the 22nd, we had one expense. So this, or two, excuse me. So the first one will be a cash expense. I went to brunch with one of my girlfriends. Hey Tiffany, if you're watching, and so with tip, it was $66 for brunch. Then the next one will be an Amazon purchase. So they had this um, deal. If you used your Echo Dot or A-L-E-X-A, -E I don't wanna say her name or she will come on. Um, and so if you could buy a smart plug, and it was $4.99 if you used your uh, Echo Dot to order it. So it was regularly $24.99 and I got it for $4.99, which is awesome. So I'll put my smart plug here. So I was super excited to get it. I absolutely love it. Can't wait to get more. Um, and so looking forward to that. Then the 23rd, we have a no spend. And then we have the 24th. Oops, I dropped the sticker here. The 24th is also a no spend. And then the 25th is a no spend. How do you like that? Well, then we get to the other side. Didn't do so well the rest of this week. So this week, Happy Planner had uh, sales every single day of the starting from, I want to say from the 23rd or 24th, I think at midnight, they had sales. And so I didn't like the first two days, but I did indeed like the rest of the days. So on the 26th, I spent $15 and 10 cents. So we'll just put HP for Happy Planner. I spent $15 and 10 cents. I had points. I got a bunch of wrong, wrong, which is a uh, one sticker edition or they have a whole set, not just stickers, but I got a bunch of wrong, wrong things for $15 and 10 cents. It was like 30 something. I used some of my Happy Planner points and ended up getting um, that for $15. Then that same day, I handed some money over to Just Be Designs. She takes care of my corporate um, holiday gifts. And so I'll just put that here, just be. And that was $180. And um, she does a great job, really love her doing my corporate gifts. 
So check her out. If you, she's on Facebook, Facebook. She's on Facebook too, but on Instagram, and she has a website. So feel free to check her out. She does great curated gifts for bachelorette parties, just because gifts, and some awesome corporate gifts. Then the twenty seventh. I ended up hanging out with a friend that I haven't seen since college. Um, and so I had a great time doing that. Um, and let's see. I spent $23 with tip um, for dinner. So that was great. Then next, we have... Oh, I forgot one thing. Sorry. The 27th spent some more money at Happy Planner. Um, they had a mystery bag that day. I think it wasn't I can't remember what I got. Don't don't let me lie to you. Okay. Look. I spent $12.78 that day. And that's because I did afterpay, so I budget for planner items every pay period and so i did it so that every every two weeks it'll hit my paycheck budget and the money will come out so i spent 12.78 that day then on the 28th i did book of the month i joined book of the month in november and it has been amazing and so the first book was five dollars and then after that i paid for the membership which was 14.99 but with tax it's like 16.18 or something like that and so that came out on the 28th. And then we're almost done. We'll skip up here to the 29th. And I had two other purchases. So I purchased Happy Planner in the morning. And then I went ahead and purchased something again that night. So it was two separate purchases. So I will go ahead and put those here and we'll just put happy planner HP HP and the first one was 45.02 and the second was $50 all right so those are those items and then on the 30th, I wanted a book that was not available from the, um, so the book of the month, even though I paid for it on the 28th, that came out of my account, it gives you a credit and you can use that credit to get one book free. And so I did use that credit. And then I also, there was a book that I wanted that they were sold out of on book of the month, but I found it on Amazon for my Kindle, which I have the Kindle app on my cell phone. And so... Um, I got that on Amazon for $8.99. So I did buy that book. So I'll turn you back around here and shrink you down some. So those are all of my expenses for the month of November, which is awesome. That's great. So the next thing we're going to do is talk about what items I spent for my um, transaction log. So let's turn you back around here, zoom you in. All right, so for the number two expense, of course that was on 1126. The amount was $180. That was to the Just Be Designs. That came from my Christmas sinking fund and I'll put gifts so that was for gifts for my boss and for a, a co-worker so that took care of that I'm not going to say what those are so I think that at least one of them watches my channel so I will not be telling what that is and then 11 30 so all of those happy planner expenses I took out of miscellaneous And I'll put Happy Planner 
I just put happy planner stickers. It's not that big of a deal. And I put Black Friday because I bought them this Black Friday week. All right. I don't normally spend that much money on stickers at one time. So that's what goes there. So everything is good. So I'm happy about that. All righty. And then, sorry, I hit my camera here. Um, I'll fill this in later. It's it's not important that we fill it out right now. I only have money coming out of these three categories, emergency, Christmas, and miscellaneous. So I'll fill those in later um, off camera, and that's fine. And then my last item here, something that you, you all will want to see, um, turn you yeah, a little bit here. So... For my November 15th paycheck, I added $300. So that brings my new total to $1,000. $246. I am doing good. So that's what goes there. Um, and then um, I'll put a screenshot here. So then you saw that. You saw a picture of my account. So that's great. So looking good. So I was going for 10 grand. I'm so close. I already purchased my Apple Watch, which means I reached the 10 grand, but I will be at right under 10 grand because I've paid for the watch already. So I'm excited about that. Things are going well. Hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I do post videos every Sunday and Wednesday morning. I post videos for you all. Hope that you enjoy this weekly check-in. Oh, I just wanted to show you what was in my allowance envelope. I know I don't track this money, but I just wanted to give an update. And who doesn't love a little cash counting on a video, right? I know that I do. So this is my current amount of allowance money. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80. So that's 180, 85. There's a $5 bill. So 80. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 85. 86, 87, 88, 89. So currently I have 189 left in my allowance fund and that I keep in my wallet. So just doing a little check-in and then I have 200 in my other envelope that I'm saving for my trip. So that's what I have in here. Carrying this around with me. And, and this is of course, this envelope is from Crafty Charms 8. I have a bunch of them of different kinds, but this is the one I keep in my wallet for my allowance, okay? All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day whenever you see this. And remember, the best way to accomplish your goals is to make a plan. Bye.